Hey guys, MD Prepper here, talking about first time ownership and low cost options for center fire rifles and carbines. Been thinking long and hard about the price point on this topic, as prices vary wildly when it comes to center fire rifles and carbines, but we're going to set the price point between $400 and $500, give or take, for center fire rifles for basic low cost prepping. We'll grab some lower options and some stuff that's closer to the higher end, but once you get over 400 500 bucks, you're looking at AKs and other things, and those are fine. But again, I would say the AK-47 would be the average middle-of-the-road price point for a centerfire rifle, you know, semi-automatic or otherwise. You can get cheaper bolt-action rifles, and obviously the price goes up from there, but we're going to look at, you know, somewhere between probably 450 to 500 being the upper end of the low cost options for centerfire weaponry. Obviously this being a high point centerfire carbine, we're going to be talking about that a lot. We're going to talk about uh, sub-caliber carbines tremendously due to their cost effectiveness, I would say, cost of ammo and whatnot. So let me go ahead and make what may sound like a controversial statement here, but for your single style prepping options. You know, if you only had to have one weapon, a 22 rifle is probably the best overall for general purposes if that's all you've got. But honestly, I'm going to go ahead and say this. For the second prepping option I would take, I'd take a center fire rifle. Uh, other than handgun options, handguns are good for close up, concealed carry, all of that. Keep it in the car, keep it on your hip. But if we're not looking at those situations, if we're looking at I'm in the house, uh, I'm on my land somewhere like that, and uh, got vermin and bad guys and everything else to deal with. Honestly, I would not pick a shotgun, and I also would not pick a handgun as my primary. Um, for general purpose work, I'd pick a centerfire rifle, uh, specifically something semi-automatic probably, just because I think that a centerfire rifle is going to be better for you than a shotgun. It's got much better range, tremendously better, uh, even in this little 9 millimeter high point here. Um, I got my shotgun and I'm in the house and there's somebody 50 to 75 yards away shooting at me. Shotgun is worthless. 22, well, it's better than nothing. It'll keep their heads down, but I'd like to respond with something that could do some damage. This would be better than a 22 or a handgun, or a shotgun for that matter. This offers range. It offers rapid fire capabilities with uh, decent magazine capacity and quick reloading. You say, well, my shotgun's got eight rounds in it. Yeah, but what's the range? 25 yards, 30 yards, tops for real effectiveness, and how quick can you reload that bad boy? You know, yeah, you got eight rounds, but it's going to take a while. Your average carbine, depending, or, or even a rifle, is going to reload just as fast, if not faster, especially in the semi-auto versions of a rifle with a magazine, than any shotgun ever will, period, including the Segas and all that. Those aren't low cost, so we're not going to talk about those, but anyway... Magazines are easy to switch out, especially if it happens to chamber the same as your handgun. That's a major bonus. We'll be talking about that here in the future. Um, I'll be talking about the benefits of the different subtypes of rifles and whatnot, but I think a center fire rifle will be the way to go. Uh, ammo is, even if it's expensive, if you're looking at 30, uh, 30 out 6 or 308, etc., I can carry a heck of a lot more and store a heck of a lot more center fire rifle ammo than I ever can a shotgun shell, especially for the weight and the size. Center fire is the way to go, and honestly, you're going to waste less ammo. Uh, do I really need to spend an entire shotgun shell necessarily to take out some small, reasonably small critter like a coyote? Sure, you could, but what's better? I'd rather place a single center fire 223 or 9mm round, something like that, something I can buy in massive bulk for cheap. I can reload the round afterwards. Can you reload shotgun shells? Sure you can. Much easier to reload rifle and handgun rounds, even if you're casting your own lead bullets and all that. Just a better, lower cost option overall. Again, center fire rifles, good way to go. The range options on these are tremendous. Um, I can shoot something just as close range as a shotgun, but a heck of a lot farther than a shotgun. Or a handgun for that matter. Um, if all you got is a 22 rifle and a 9mm handgun, well, that's not so bad, but I'd rather have this going along. So. I put this probably secondary as my second choice behind a 22 rifle for most purposes. Now, I love my handguns and I carry every day, but for a SHTF type end of the world situation or survival power outage, etc., do I really want the handgun? 
because I'm probably not going to be traveling all that much. And if I am, and all hell's breaking loose, I'd much rather have this over my back than a 9mm on my hip. Um, this is going to bring a lot more pain, a lot better round ballistics in any center fire rifle round than anything coming out of a handgun other than some of your crazy Smith & Wesson 500s and all of that. So, again, we're setting the price point somewhere between, I don't know, 450 500 something like that. I think that's reasonable uh, at the very upper end. We're going to be talking about stuff that's cheaper than that. So, we want to give some thoughts here. We're going to be reviewing this high point here next. So I think this is an excellent low-cost option, especially in its original configuration. Uh, even better now with the uh, new stock set. Anyway, we're talking about centerfire rifles. Low-cost initial purchases if you're a new shooter and all that. Andy Prepper, out.